Okay, something like that. So the circuit that I'm going to do, this one, has only one battery and then it has a few resistors. And so we're going to decide which of them are in parallel, which of them are in series. And uh, then I want to know what is the total resistance of the circuit, what is the Uh, so what is uh, our tot? What is the power dissipated by each resistor? And then what is the power produced by the battery? Well, in order to do know the power of each resistor, you're going to need to somehow figure out the current in each resistor too. So along the way, we're going to find out the current across each resistor, the voltage across each resistor, uh, and so on. So let's break the circuit down. So what's going to happen here? A lot of times with some circuits that look a little bit frightening, you can rewrite it to make it look less. Uh, so the current is going to split here, right? Uh, this is the current is going to split into two. And then this one, the current. Let's say you have I here, then you have I1, right? Then you have I2, and then uh, you have I2 that's going to go across. So this one, the I2 is going to flow through both of them, OK? So they should be in series. They have the same current, OK? This one, I1 is going to go over here to this junction, and then the I1 splits into uh, I3 and I4, so, uh, and then I3 comes over here, and I4 goes through here. You don't necessarily have to do like what I'm doing, like I4, I3, I2, I1, like that. But that sort of sometimes helps if the circuit looks a little hard to analyze what's happening. And then they join up here. OK, so the I3 must be in parallel with the, uh, with the 15. The 10 ohm resistor must be in parallel with the 15 ohm resistor, right? Because this, uh, this I1, there's a, some voltage drop that occurs from here to here, right? But from here to here, the voltage drop must be the same as from the voltage drop from here to here, because they have to end up to the, the, the same point right here, you see? You have to get to the same point. So the voltage drop here and the voltage drop here are the same. So these two are in parallel. Okay, and then this one, the voltage drop from this two must be the same as the voltage drop of this whole the, this whole system side. So if I want to re redraw this, I can make it look like this. It's going to look less frightening now. OK, and then the left side is just so I'll just draw it to make it look a little simpler. And then from then on, you have uh, these two are in uh, parallel. So 1 over 10 plus 1 over 15 equals 1 over r, call it r prime. Right, so what's that going to be? Um, uh, that's uh, 25 over 150, 150 over 25, that's 6, right? And then these two, we can call it our double prime. That's going to be uh, 32, right? So now this one looks like this.
And then this one is going to be uh, 18, right? And then this and this must be parallel. Even though they're on the opposite side of the battery, it doesn't matter. It's the same as this being on this side. Just because it's on the left side doesn't matter. So this one uh, uh, is going to be 1 over 32 plus 1 over 18, right? One over R total is 1 over 32 plus 1 over 18. And then R total is going to be So it's got to be less than 18, right? It gives you a number that's less than the, the least number there. And then the battery was what? Uh, 9 volts. OK, so then from then on, like we did with capacitors, start building up the circuit. The current in this is going to be 9 over 11.52, uh, right? So give me two decimal places here. Right? There's going to be some rounding uh, that we have to do. So that current is going to be the current that the battery is going to go through the battery. And if the battery had an internal resistance, then the battery is going to produce a terminal, velocity, a terminal of voltage, 9 minus the current times the R int of the battery, you know. So if you had the internal resistance, that's how you would do it. OK, so now what would be the power produced by the battery? At this point, we can answer that. VI, right? 9 times 0.78. So let's keep that handy. Seven point seven point zero two watts. Okay, now go backwards now. Start building up. This one is parallel, so they both have nine volts, right? So find the current in each. So find the current of... Uh